So hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video for you guys today uh, for two reasons. The first, I uh, wanted to test out a new lens I picked up on Black Friday for the camera, uh, basically a wide angle lens. So instead of seeing uh, what you're seeing here with just my face when I'm trying to do uh, a vlog in the picture, I can actually uh, back it out uh, and give you guys a bigger picture uh, of what's uh, going on around me. Uh, so the second part of this video besides testing out uh, this lens was to show you guys something just a little bit depressing. And what is it? Well it's that right there. What is that? That's my trailer. It's parked for the winter. So that means that uh, it's officially uh, the end of the 2018 uh, lawn care season. Um, as you can imagine, uh, it's December here. It's getting cold. Uh, you can probably see that in the fact that I'm shaking uh, with the camera because it's cold out here. Um, but uh, I thought I would take uh, the opportunity to uh, walk around the trailer and show you guys a bit uh, about the trailer. I always get questions about uh, the trailer and uh, you know show you guys uh, just a bit of a, a quick closer look. I'll do a more in-depth uh, video on the trailer in the spring when I've got it pulled out uh, and can actually get the hydraulics working uh, on the back dumper bed and all that sort of stuff. But for now, we'll just do a quick uh, quick walk around. Here it is behind me, as you can see. Uh, so the trailer is originally um, from the lawn care franchise uh, that I was a part of when I started my business 13 years ago. Uh, it was uh, of their uh, particular design. Uh, it had to be custom built when I started my uh, franchise, uh, but I did make uh, some of my own changes almost immediately uh, with the trailer. If you notice those uh, back doors there uh, at the very end, the trailer originally came with just some regular uh, barn style doors on the back that um, were completely solid uh, and only uh, came up to uh, about this height, uh, the same as on the side there. Uh, and basically you could only open them uh, sideways. Um, for me that was really really limited um, so I actually uh, about a month after uh, purchasing the trailer I ended up uh, taking my angle grinder and cutting off the doors uh, and then buying a bunch of steel and using my welder and custom making uh, these doors. You can actually probably see uh, some of the remnants there of the old doors where I cut them off uh, the old welds and then uh, where I uh, made my own door so basically i came up with this design uh, you can see the door is a bit longer because i made it so that it could be used uh, as a ramp uh, to put in uh, riding lawnmowers in the back as well but they still retains uh, sort of the barn door style so you'll notice i got some hinge or hinge pins here as well as uh, down here and i've got them all along uh, the bottom there as well there's four of them there uh, it's two separate doors so each door has two hinge pins uh, on the bottom and two hinge pins on the sides there so right now i've got all four hinges at the bottom and two at the top so basically uh, i can release those uh, hinges there and uh, fold uh, the door down uh, like a ramp uh, or i can reconfigure those hinge pins and turn it into barn doors i'll show you what i'm talking about configuration uh, to use as a ramp door uh, and I can drive up uh, my turf tracer or a tractor or when I had my walker I would just drive it up on uh, right inside there close the doors and away you go but if I ever want to use this for say hauling mulch uh, or dirt uh, obviously the ramp can get in the way uh, if you're trying to uh, shovel dirt into a, a wheelbarrow or something so I can uh, reconfigure the doors. Okay, so if I want to reconfigure the doors, I just gotta change uh, the hinges around. So the 
two at the top stay and I just got to change the bottom ones. So you can see I uh, removed all the hinges from the bottom, reconfigured them to the two sides. And now the door is open uh, like a barn door style. Makes it super easy. Bringing up a wheelbarrow, you can shovel right into your wheelbarrow with no issues. So I added those uh, Gorilla Lifts uh, last year. They've made life a lot easier. You can see at the front there, there's a couple of uh, loops all welded in uh, to the bottom front. Let's you put uh, brooms and shovels and stuff in there uh, if you want. Uh, I use that a little bit in the beginning. I don't use it uh, much anymore. I just don't like uh, the look of having all the brooms and shovels sticking out the top. I'm pretty uh, OCD about stuff like that. So as I mentioned briefly there, uh, you can see the separation between uh, the front of the trailer and the rear of the trailer. Uh, they are in fact two separate pair pieces. Uh, this rear uh, section, rear box, uh, is actually a hydraulic dumper. Uh, there's some hydraulics there. It lifts up just like a dump truck. You can unload uh, debris. Um, don't use it as much. Uh, anymore as I used to in the beginning when I used to haul away a lot of debris um, I don't do a lot of that anymore. So uh, that part doesn't get used as much uh, But that let you uh, basically dump that whole rear without affecting uh, all the tools that you had in the front So the tools wouldn't be lifting up in the air as well. The, the whole tool compartment stays uh, Still while the back moves independently to dump uh, on this side here is basically just a little uh, access door to uh, basically um, you know you can there's a tray in there that you can put some tools in as well as the battery uh, that runs the hydraulic power pack yeah so there you can see uh, just a little tray there uh, keep some um, extra engine oil uh, as well as the battery there for the hydraulics uh, and uh, my uh, equipment defender spool rack uh, with my roll of black diamond uh, there. There's some hooks on that side. Uh, you can hang you know, trimmers and things up there. Um, and if you look, you can see uh, the uh, gorilla lifts I have on the inside there on the other side. The other opposite side there, you can see the roofing shingles. That's a ramp door that opens up uh, on that passenger side. And basically you can have your 21 inch mower in here, your backpack blower, that sort of stuff. When you pull up to a customer's house, that whole uh, door uh, opens up uh, like a ramp and you can roll out uh, your mowers and stuff there. This whole opening here is uh, 36 inches wide. So any mower uh, up to 36 inches will fit uh, in that doorway there. see the spare tire there and then of course uh, the front hitch so here on the opposite side of the front uh, you can see that uh, large door I was talking about uh, so this opens out uh, as a ramp obviously I can't do that right now uh, because of the fence uh, but it's 36 inches wide my uh, 21 inch more goes in here I keep my trimmer in here my blower in here uh, when I'm working um, and as well as anything else I need for the day uh, is kept in here. And like I said, it's independent um, of this rear uh, section. Uh, basically, you just undo the lock there and then it folds open. And as you saw, I had the equipment, or sorry, the uh, Gorilla Lifts uh, on the inside uh, there as well to help with this ramp door. It's quite heavy. Again, you can see sort of some uh, step uh, rails here that let you stand up uh, on the tr trailer there you can grab onto these rails here and basically 
uh, just get up uh, if you have to uh, and even uh, stand on that fender there to get a bit higher and that gives you a lot of versatility uh, if you do have to dump stuff over the side you don't have to you know sit here trying to throw stuff over you can grab on climb up uh, on those steps there and uh, you know, toss that stuff uh, in there or your debris. Uh, again, the fenders and those steps are independent of the box. So these stay put and the front box stays put. And it's only this back uh, square area that uh, the hydraulics uh, lift up. A lot of people see this here and ask about it. Uh, they always comment, is that uh, electrical power for your trailer? It's not, there's no built-in generator or anything. All this is is a, uh, a way, a means to control or hook up a remote control to control the hydraulics. Uh, so the uh, builder of the trailer basically took the hydraulic uh, two button, you know, up, down, uh, wired remote for the hydraulics, put a uh, electrical plug end on it, wired in this uh, box because it's a weatherproof uh, electrical outlet. And basically I can plug it into any one of those. The remote has a couple of magnets on that I can kind of stick on the side here. The wire hangs down, plugged in there. And then when I press the up or down, uh, the hydraulics lift up or down, uh, easy peasy. Uh, the trailer on this uh, is rated at, uh, I believe the axles are rated at about 6,000 uh, pounds. So, uh, you know, 6,000 uh, pound GVW for the, total trailer uh, it's all steel construction um, so it's done pretty well this trailer um, is now 13 years old um, it was built uh, August of 2005 um, so that's when I purchased the trailer that's when I had it built uh, for my business um, I used it for the first five years um, under the franchise company uh, and it was a completely different color completely different logos uh, when I left the franchise and decided to go on my own um, I took the trailer and took it to a truck refinishing shop they sandblasted it uh, completely right down uh, to bare metal removing all the decals all the paint and any uh, rust uh, issues that we had on the trailer uh, they completely refinished the whole trailer uh, you know, with an epoxy primer and repainted it with this uh, uh, urethane um, enamel. I think they told me this was like an aircraft quality uh, grade um, uh, enamel uh, and it's held up really, really well. Uh, so specifically an industrial type paint. Uh, and then uh, of course I did uh, all the lettering myself uh, uh, as I own a, a sign machine uh, and uh, was able to do all of the lettering uh, myself. So there you have it guys. There's a quick uh, walkthrough on my custom built uh, landscaping trailer. Uh, it's been a fantastic design. It's super versatile. You can use it for, uh, like I said, uh, cleanups, for hauling dirt, um, as well as obviously converting those rear doors and uh, you know turning it into something that you can take uh, your ride on uh, with, uh, having your um, front compartment there with an easy load ramp on the side there for smaller equipment 21 inch mowers that sort of stuff uh, it's been a really really versatile uh, design uh, incidentally uh, once I uh, came up with that design uh, and cut off those rear doors when I was a part of that franchise company once the uh, regional franchiser actually saw uh, those doors that I designed he quickly converted uh, all new trailers uh, that were being built for the franchise company uh, were all then built using my design uh, for the rear doors. so that was pretty cool uh, that uh, you know all subsequent trailers going forward uh, of this style were built with my rear door design so there you go guys there's a quick uh, walk through uh, or walk around of my uh, custom built uh, landscaping trailer if you like this video make sure you hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing leave a comment down below let me know uh, what you think about this uh, particular trailer or if you have any questions uh, regarding this trailer. So that's it for this one, guys. Here's to wishing you guys all overwhelming success and freedom in your lawn care business. Bye for now.